I have never been the kind of elf who would sit in a tree's shade and reflect on the trials and tribulations of life, or record profound thoughts onto paper. However, Anne Linde thought that others could benefit from reading a personal chronicle of our journey across the continent, especially if something were to happen to me on the field. In hindsight, I may have been far too reckless and brash in battle, putting my life in danger too often without any consideration for my friends and subjects. For that, I wish to apologize to whomever may read this, in case I never have the chance to do so in the flesh. I do not know for certain whether I would have changed our fate had I the power. There was a lesson to be learned from our next encounter with the enemy, and perhaps in time it would prove crucial for our survival. Because soon after entering the caverns we would begin to realize the full breadth of the menace that threatened to end all life on Erdia, and I would personally bear witness to the terrifying power of chaos. This is scenario 19. Uh, you are watching Cyber Neuro Druid playing Invasion from the Unknown. And scenario 19 is called Under the Sands and is followed by, I think, a brief cutscene called Crossroads. I am starting to think that this wasn't such a good idea after all. The place reeks of decomposing flesh and sewage. I can hardly breathe. This impenetrable darkness does not help matters either. Hey, the stench of putrefaction never hurt anybody before. Not me, at least. But you are right. This darkness is unnatural. We ought to be careful. The more I see the horrors created by the demons and the chaos humans, the more I fear for Urge's fate. What will become of the prosperous Northlands if we cannot put a stop to their invasion at its source? Why do they do this? Is there a purpose to this senseless decay and destruction? What are they going to do next if they manage to turn the entire continent into a barren wasteland? Gods, I can do more than merely speak to you. I... I'm feeling ill. Gallas? Oh, please, not again. We need to be moving, and fast. I don't know for certain how long it will take those demons to find another way into those caves. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like if a greater being could reach into your mind and simply crush it? Ah, uh, it hurts. Get out of my head, please, Elinia. Yes, I... What should I do? On the surface or underground, it makes no difference to me, Galas. You will not last long if you stay in my domain, unless you abandon this foolish quest of yours and pledge alliance to Uriah and me. Never! Ah! Elinia, can't you see the darkness is trying to get into his body? Do something to dispel the shadows or we'll lose him! No, no, I will not do it. Please. <gasps> Gallas, please don't die. We need you. Why, why couldn't I see this? Right in front of me. For how long? Don't despair. We have not lost him yet. He's still alive, just unconscious. Just make sure to keep him by your side until we find a way back to the surface. Your light might be the only thing that can protect him from the darkness of this place. I understand. Let's not tarry here any longer. Alright, um, my job is to proceed south. I've got 65 turns, no early finish bonus. Gold carryover, but that might not be relevant. And, um, I will lose if Alinea, Malkishaw, or Erethan dies. And here we go. So I'm going to get a ghost and a bat. I don't get too many weak troops in this scenario, but uh, it's good to have some, especially the bat for scouting purposes. It's quick, which is the best trait to have in bats, just a little bit of extra vision and movement. All right, so move Malkashar up to... Up, up to... Here or here, let's go slightly more defensive. Erethan, come sit in the house behind him, and Igor, you come down here. All right. <clears throat> uh, 
Mm, turn two. All right, I can recruit some veterans. First of all, I'm going to put Malkeshar down here. Um, where, actually, where, where over here has he got decent defenses? Um, maybe it's best that I just stay where I am for now. I'm going to move the bat out so I can see a bit more. And I can see that there is a leader over here. There is a uh, an assault drone. And that assault drone will come out if I start playing silly buggers. So I'm going to actually put Malkashar here so, to hopefully attract someone out to fight. Um, but bring the ghost so that it doesn't get in the way. Aerithan can come up here. And now it's all about recruiting. I'm going to have two elves only. That's Revelia the Sharpshooter and Sothinia the Shide. And then I'm going to have a bunch of undead. Including my two experienced spectres and my one slightly less experienced spectre. But they're all spectres, they're all strong. Will all be important in a mission like this one. It's tempting to put a linear behind Malkashar here, in case he gets attacked. The um, main reason I'm not doing so is because uh, that will weaken his attacks very substantially, and he can always heal up afterwards. Ah, oh, Carrying Gallus around is exhausting. Perhaps you could lend me a hand, Malkashar. That had better not be a poor attempt at cracking a joke at my expense. I... What? Oh, of course not, you fool. I'm asking you to help me. Okay, so <laughs> actually getting these guys to come out of their little hole is, is obviously a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. At least I can make sure everyone forms up. So maybe just come forward one more step, see what happens then, see if anyone gets triggered. Or actually... Yeah, if you're going to do that, you might as well go here, onto these rocks, and then the ghost can come up to make sure that you don't get backstabbed. Igor can come down here, Sothinia, actually no, Igor can go there, Sothinia can come down here, and then everyone else can just line up behind. Hmm, it's a bit annoying that the spectre can get in there. Erethan, you stay all the way over here. You could be attacked by this, this drone as well. And the rest of you just... Progress. Including you, my bat friend. Okay, there are drones coming. Oh, don't kill my ghost on turn one. Oh, that's not cool. This scenario really is pretty beastly. Alright, well since you're, you're right here, Rebellia, um, you can try and kill this shadow minion for me. Marksman doesn't make you that accurate in the long run, does it? good experience for my bat. Elinia. Three hits, please. And you get, you want to get some health now. Um, not even sure it's that wise to advance at this point. There's a lot of drones coming up from the south. Who's summoning all these drones? There must be a leader around. Still, if I make a wall of spectres here, 
I don't think anyone should be in too much danger. And Malka Shah, actually, you can go there because you'll be safe. The linear can't move, so this spectre is, is, is going to get uh, is going to be a bit less effective. I want to move you here so that you can do a little bit more effective healing next turn. You go up behind. You go up behind. And I can defend here for a little while if need be, I think. They'll go for the Spectres rather than Keshara. I imagine they'll go for this one here. Or not. I sorely regret accepting the Council's mission to follow you people. This is a truly dreadful place to be for someone who is neither a necromancer nor a walking light source. Why? Why aren't you advancing? Ugh. And you're not advancing either. It, it, ah. <laughs> I can deal with drones if they rush out and attack my powerful troops, but uh, this is too much. Alright, I'm going to try the same again. We just have to come forward. Um, and again, I think the answer is for Malka Shah to be here. I have a spectre here. And then the other spectres just come forward over here. Now please, please, please attack me this turn. I, I cannot be doing with you you know, wasting your time. Rivelli already showing just how slow elves are on this terrain, even with six movement. Can't move anywhere else other than where Alinea is. Actually, Alinea can move into the... Yeah, that I think is more sensible. Then we'll get Igor here, we'll get the bat up to here, and the shadow up to here, and there we go. Everyone is in a nice line. Alright, bring it. These, these drones don't even seem interested in fighting me. I don't know what they're doing. Well, I have to move forward. Um, so... There's, a, there's even a dog there. Oh, God. This scenario is just dreadful. <laughs> um, okay, so... And there's probably invisible creatures around as well. How far can the dog reach? Can't see... Where's the dog? The dog's down there. Alright. Dog can't reach my troops yet. Alinea can come up here. If you're in the in the forest, you can... Get rid of that. Can anyone get around? No, no one's fast enough to do what I want them to do. Um, you, though, you can come over here and kill this Bane Blade, I think. Let's just bring the bat out and do some more scouting so I can see so I can see if there are any more enemies in the vicinity. Ah, okay, there's the purple leader. If I can get rid of the purple leader, things might start to get easier. Can you reach anyone? No, you can't. Okay, good. Well, I'd, I'd like you to be able to get all the way around the back so that the shadow can come in and finish the job, but that's not quite possible, so I'm just going to come up and kill you. These guys, these assault drones, are so nasty. And they've got, and they've got the poison ability. It's just, it's just a brutal set of abilities. You could come in and get a, an attack, but then you'd be likely to die, I think, so don't really want you to do that. 
Instead, um, we need to find some way of killing this thing. And Malkashar can move around faster, that's fine. He, he could get into combat, combat with the dog. I actually think that would be quite nice, because he can regain health. So the dog is not a great concern. These Shakstal could also get in on him, so he could take quite a lot of damage if there are other people around. But still, I think it's probably worth it. There we go. And down here, these folks, well, we'll see. that who can I see now can I see anyone new oh yeah there's a matrix flow system over there all right all good advance 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 um, where are you going I don't want you to I could put you on this house um, if I do you could get killed by the you could quite easily get yourself killed by the the Verlish, unfortunately even with a 50% defense. So I'm going to put you behind the house where the village can't reach. So you'll get a bit more visibility from that. And now there is a shadow, and the shadow also can take up position over here. Okay. You want to help me get a level? For no loss? Okay, fine. Alright, now you come and attack me. Though interesting, the Verlish don't, and the dog isn't stupid enough to go to go for Malkashar, unfortunately. Um, Alright, so I need to watch out behind me now. This is um, this is looking bad for Revelia, um, who's very close to a level, and I really would rather that Revelia did not get himself or herself herself, in fact, killed at this point. So I'm going to move her back up over here. Uh, first things first, deal with this guy. And there we are. Okay, we've got a Night Gaunt. That's more like it. Now to figure out how to deal best with these guys down here. The only ones that can fly are these drones, so I think I should probably just try and clean them up from the bottom. And cleaning them up is not going to work, evidently. Hmm. What to do? It's tempting to send Malkeshar back there. I don't think that's the right play. I'm going to send Alinea back there instead. Hmm. Those guys have got a nasty energy attack, and they can go and attack anyone who's here. I feel like Malkeshar just ought to be holding his position here, just for this this one turn and kill this dog. So, in that case... Yeah, you come up here, Elinia. You're very ineffective against these guys, aren't you? You're even more ineffective against these guys. Everyone's ineffective against these guys. What about a spectre? 
Okay, well, if you can actually hit, you would be effective. So, Blady, you do it. There we go. There we go. And you now actually can come around here. Please do not forget that we came to these lands to accomplish a specific goal. Disposing of every single foe we encounter is an impossible task, and can only serve to delay us. Right, right, but it will prove impossible to get through these caverns otherwise, what with them constantly crawling out of the walls. Besides, I could use the entertainment. Okay. Can you actually go? No, you can't. I thought it looked like you could go onto the to the land, but you can't. All right, so there's no dog anymore. Um, I could put someone here. Um, if I put Erethan there, I don't think he'll die. He could die if he gets hit by everyone, though. And given my luck so far in this campaign, in this particular level, um, I think it might be best not to tempt fate. So, just gonna use Sothinia over here. Okay, well, she didn't hit much, but the enemy didn't hit at all, so that's okay. It's fine by me. Igor, you go get that house. Bat, uh, you maybe stay where you are, or maybe you come down here, that get a little bit more visibility. Um, and then Erethan... I am. There's only these two Verlish. So if they hit you with all of all of their attacks, and you don't have any resistance to cold, do you? No. Okay, so if they hit you literally on 60% with all their attacks, then you will die. No. So they didn't. they didn't even try it. That's uh, good to see. Now, of course, what I don't know is whether there are, in fact, scary enemies of kinds that uh, that I can't see, I aka invisible ones. Um, but since I can't know that, it's impossible trying to think about it. So instead, I'm just going to press forward, and I'm going to do so by having a linear take out this guy. This is an abomination. And over here I need someone to kill this guy. You should move up behind. Need to kill you. Can't get Revelia in. How far can the leader reach? Not not far enough. Okay, so the only enemies that I'm actually worried about here now are these Verlish, and this one can't get down there. And hopefully, once this one is disposed of, Malkeshar can do the rest. Alright, so what I want Malkeshar to do is this. Okay, now that thing is dead. This one could come and attack Erethan, that's fine. Um, oh, I could, in fact, I could go all in and uh, go at it with the Spectre, but then I would get the attack. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I think I'm, what I'm going to do with you is grab this house so that I get some more income. Oh, now I can see another enemy. It's a leech. They can't move. Good. 
You also come down here to explore because you're really fast. And now I can see that there's a matrix flow system down there too. So, Elinia, how did you not see the shadows closing in on Galas? You have to understand, I spent who knows how many thousands of years asleep underground, Malkishar. I could not fully regain control of my powers, and perhaps I never will. I don't understand the magic that the enemy used against Galas, and it's probable that only someone well attuned to the essence of darkness, like yourself, can sense its power. It worries me that Yefnagoth was set to possess the ability to infect people's minds with her darkness. Do you believe she could have survived the fight with those elves and be behind this? While Hecuba did say her power still lives thanks to Uriah. It is a possibility we should consider indeed, but I'm not looking forward to confronting another false god. Hmm, alright. So, we've got an enemy leader. Um, we've got most pe most of my troops aren't quite fast enough to reach said enemy leader. What I can do is, and this is a case where using an explosive arrow won't get anyone behind, but uh, it will um, hit 100% of the time, and it will also prevent uh, taking any damage from this, which I think is worth it. Kaboom, and down goes that guy. Alright, so Igor and this spectre can get in on the protector drone, but no one else can. And as for you, that's a job for Igor, I think. Hmm, okay. Now a linear. Ah, oh, you can't, you can't, the healer can't go as far as you can. Okay, maybe I can undo that. No, I can't. You move too far, you revealed new terrain. Okay, so you go there. Actually, can you... Is there a tree within reach of you? Yeah, there is. Alright, you can regain your health in a more conventional way. By killing trees. Stupid trees. Oh, there are demons down there. Um, yeah, blue enemies coming up from the south. Interesting. They're, they look weak, so I think this is the this is an enemy. These are not um, respawning enemies. These are just the kind of enemies that come. Okay, well, Erethan, you can stand here. And if a protector drone wants to come out there, then so be it. And you go next to the healer. You come over here. It actually looks like if you grab this house, no one will be able to attack you this turn, which is actually kind of cute, so I'm going to do that. Yep, yeah, there come the blue. They've, they're coming across a very narrow precipice. And then you finally come up behind so that you're ready to join in the fight next time. Well, I don't want you to get attacked. Okay. Blue troops are advancing. Has anyone respawned? It doesn't look like it. 
The respawning is something that comes in later. I do not like the respawning at all. Okay. Nice work, Alinea. Okay. Is there anything up here? There could be, I guess. You never quite know with these scenarios. So I'm going to send a spectre to kill this. And these things, I mean... I never quite know whether there's any point killing them, but there might be. Alright, what about here? Is that is that something interesting? No. <laughs> Not everything is, is, in fact, fascinating. You kill this one. And we've got some nice visibility to the south where we've got lava flows. Um, you want to go down here, ultimately. What you don't get, fortunately, is enemies that respawn after... and, and re enemies that can respawn and then immediately attack you. That does not happen. Okay, the bat is actually fine where the bat is. Um, it doesn't look like I'm getting fog behind me, so... I shouldn't really need to worry about exploring new places, and in that case I'm going to come down here. There's a drone there. Give this bat a chance. Oh, we've got fire spirits as well. And as for Malkesh Shah, uh, yeah, pressing forward is, is the right answer. Um, same for Erethan because he is slow. And this spectre... I don't know what you can do, really. Can any of you reach behind this leech? No. Can you reach behind the leech? No. You? No. Alright, I can come and kill the leech. Or try to. Alright, now they, that will regenerate, so that wasn't a hugely useful use of my time. And maybe some units will now head in this direction. Well, that's a level 2 assault drone, but that's something we can worry about next time, because I'm going to take a break here. See you next time.